What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to go through fixing a common issue for Origin, where when you're opening it up, you'll get past this little loading screen, and then you'll be stuck on a purely white screen, or a white screen with some preview boxes for text, as such. Now, of course, assuming that you're stuck here, the first thing we have to do is give it a couple of minutes to see if it actually loads. Assuming that it doesn't, open up Task Manager, locate Origin, right click, and click End Task. Then head across to the Details tab, sort by name, and scroll down to O. Then close everything here related to Origin. So, Origin Web Helper Service, right click, end task, end process as well. Great, so now that we have Origin completely closed, let's go ahead and clear the cache so it can try and launch properly. The first thing we should do is hold down Start and press R to bring up the Run dialog. In here, type in percent program data percent and hit Enter. Then we'll see this window over here. When in program data, simply find origin, and then we'll simply either delete it, cut it to a different place, or rename it so that origin recreates this folder entirely. I'll just call it origin123 so that origin thinks it's deleted and it will make the cache again. Opening it up, you can see it's just got achievement cache, download cache, a self update cache, etc., etc. All of this will be re downloaded the next time that we open up origin. Then hold down start and press R once again, and this time type in percentage temp percentage. Then our temporary folder over here will open up. Usually if you have a program like CCleaner or something like that, then it'll go ahead and clear this once in a while. But assuming that you've been using your computer for quite some time, you'll usually have a lot of items in your temporary folder. Don't worry, unless you're installing something or doing something rather niche with a program, you can go ahead, hit Control A, and then delete to clear your cache folder. Every file inside of this folder is temporary and 99% of the time safe to delete. I've cleared this many a time with many programs running and never had an issue. Assuming that you're using something like Discord or another Electron app, you may get an error like this saying the file can't be deleted as it's open in X program. Simply click do this for all current items and then click skip. Every file that's currently in use will still remain in here. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and clear our Windows cache as well. So I'll head across to C Drive, Windows, and then we'll scroll down until we see Temp. Double click on Temp over here, select everything, and delete everything in here as well. Again, when we get this error, do this for all current items, and then skip. Then we'll hold Start and press R once again. This time we'll type in percent local app data percentage. Then our local application data folder will open. Simply scroll down until you see origin and either rename it or delete it. Inside of here is just a few more cached files. So instead of deleting it or moving it to a different folder, I'll call it origin123 again. Then when we're done renaming the folder in here, head up a folder into app data, locate roaming, double click, and then we'll find origin in here as well. Either delete this cache as well, or simply rename the file. I'll rename it from origin to origin123 again. Then we'll go ahead and open up origin. Now you will be asked to sign in once again, but don't worry, that's no issue. And there we go, after signing in again, you can see that the origin folder is recreated here. The program starts up. It's a bit of a different size because we've gone ahead and cleared the cached data, but everything has reset to where it was before. Assuming you had any program hotkeys or application settings, heading back to the application settings screen, such as notifications over here, you can see that everything's been reset back to the default. Of course, if you had all of your notifications off, you'll need to go ahead and turn them off once again if this is cleared for you. But other than that, Origin should be working in its perfectly normal state as you expect and you should be able to play your games, launch them up without having to do anything extra or special. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.